Hey everybody, the Bond Guy's back. Let's play Chrono Trigger Part 36. If you're wondering what I'm doing in Aerostome, it's because of that door, because now I can open it. So I'm gonna get ourselves some items. Like a power tab, for instance, and a lumen robe, and an elixir, and a hit ring, and a gold earring. And the power tab, I'm gonna use it right now. And who better than Chrono? Give him the power. Oh, guess there's nothing else for me to do here. I'm done. Let's head over to Secret Dome. Which is not that far from here. All I have to do is leave this place and go through the sewer again. Oops, battle. Oh, I learned a new tech. It has something to do with Luca, so... Fire Punch, yeah. No, oh, that's not it. Fire Sword 2! Awesome! Oh, better than Fire Sword 1, I assume. Better be. I guess that's what I get for learning Fire 2 with Luca. Wicked! That's right, everybody look at the spiky-haired kid, and the broad, and the nerd. We grab the attention everywhere we go. We're like a little entourage. I'll get the other treasures in the other labs later, not now. It's a bit of a waste of time. Time that I don't have a lot of. Wait, don't tell me the door's locked again. Are you serious? I don't even need to go through that. Huh. There's no worries. I'm surprised it was locked again. But whatever. Oh wait, it's Keeper's Dome. Did I say Seeker's Dome last time? Yeah, I did. Fine, I won't disturb you slumber then. I don't need to talk to you anyway. I'm going here. Huh? To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the Guru of Reason. I once lived in the Kingdom of Zeal. A great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect, in other periods as well, aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Which is true. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from atop high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate. Like a giant parasite, he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old. And it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times, so before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I have grown frail. So you, you, who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. Uh, there's supposed to be an E there. The world is in your hands. Open now, the last door, and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. Oh yeah. It's gonna be kick ass. Look at it, doesn't that look awesome? This must be an invention Balthazar spoke of. Wow, this is amazing! How do you tell the front from the back? Uh, obviously, this here's the front. And here's the back. Lately, I can't tell the difference between your front and your back. Oh, burn! Hey, thanks for putting the seats in. We'll be a bit uncomfortable to use without it. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar! I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge. Then use the L and R buttons to select an era. Oh yeah, so before you go, why don't you... Name my time machine. Of course the default name is Epoch, but I'm going to use something a little funny. I'm going to call it the good old... Fuck you! 
Hop aboard. Up, oh, going up. Mumble, mumble. Take off? Sure. Now I can go to 12,000 BC right now, but before we do, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of treasure. It's a really good treasure, too. Eee! Traveling at warp speed! Fuck you, it's capable of this? Yes, it is. Starting with the magic cave. I believe there was a black chest I couldn't open, but now I can. A magic ring! Epic. Okay, you guys got magic scarves, so I'm gonna take that off you. Put a magic ring on instead. Give you even more magic power! Now that's awesome. Well, there's something else I need to do. You know, you know what happened when I told her not to burn that sapling? This happened to trigger a side quest. First, we'll go over here to the Elder's house. Something inside is reacting to the printing. Remove the object. Now, here in 600 AD, when you open these boxes here and you get this little option, say no. And say no to this one, too. You're gonna find out why when we get to 1000 BC. I mean, 1000 AD, my bad. Yeah, let's do the same over in the town of Truce. Fast forward that little bit because we don't see everything. I believe the next treasure was in the inn, I believe. Yep, it is. Open it, you may have what's inside. Take the item? No. Let's go back to the fuck you, to 1000 AD, and then open the boxes. It's a little bit of timing, I know, but it's really important if you want to get really good stuff. Trust me. Whoops. Okay, why did I do that? I mean, I already checked these boxes. I was supposed to do it at 1000 AD. My mistake. Oh, going it. To the present. And now, to the places where I can find the treasure again. There's Manor, of course he's a prick to his kids because he's greedy. We'll deal with him later. Now watch what happens. White vest power up and you receive the white mail. And believe it or not, of course don't be surprised, the black mail is stronger than the black vest. Which means you gave it a level up just by exposing it to light in 600 AD. That gave it extra power. And of course, you can go back to 600 AD and get the white vest and white black mail, black vest from before. So you didn't really miss out on much. And yeah, we'll deal with that later. Because I don't need to equip that now. First, let's get the other treasure. What do we get in here? We get the blue mail absorbs ice attacks. Which means that anything that attacks me that is ice elemental, I gain health instead of take damage. Now that is awesome. Oh, you're just in time, eh? Oh, I got a tabin suit now. Oh, so Luca's armor should be a bit stronger now. Wicked. And more speed, too. So yep, I am going to stop the video right here, but I'll see you along for the next part when I go to 12,000 BC. Goodbye for now.